we won't try the picture because for some reason this thing's whacking out today. But this is a bird's nest anturium and I have it in a pot. I uh, have been for several years. This is well over 20 something years. It's been in the Doherty Garden. I had one. I have no idea what happened to it. Uh, but in where we were renting at the time, they were clearing a lot. When they were clearing a lot, there was one that was in a pot. Apparently, somebody had thrown away. So, this is the parents. This is one of the children from that pot. And it is planted in the pot. I have it nestled between Eureka palm trees in the background there. You can see that. Uh, likes, not likes, likes full sun, I don't think it appreciates full sun, but it likes the sheltered environment. But basically, the reason I'm uh, capturing it in video today is I just finished cleaning the weeds out and I gotta clean the leaves around there because my lawn mow went south on me. So I have to clean the weeds out and if I can find something to mow the lawn quick. Alright, in the meantime, here is the bird's nest antorium and what captured me was the fact that it's going to seed. It takes a little while. And it's been a few years since I've seen this on the bird's nest, and here is the seed pod. And what I'm going to do is just basically clean up the area around the base of the uh, pod over here, so I can clean it out, and then hopefully cut away some of the Eureka palms. I'm literally got about 30 brackets right above it, and I just don't want to interfere with the seeds that this is going to put out, and hopefully see if any babies emerge. So that's what it looks like right now. Let me just get it up a little closer without getting too thick. But each one of those things will eventually pop up. As you can see, this literally I call a fire engine red. Because they got two spats. Let me look at the other one over here. That's two spats. Uh, look fairly healthy. Not as healthy as the one I had several years back, but I'm just looking at the bottom back down. Uh, we've got a few land colonies down there, so we have to introduce them to Mother Nature. Uh, get rid of them. Then, once again, the bird's nest anterior, what I like about them is they have these beautiful two to three foot leaves when the plant is healthy enough. And as you can see, there's a new new branch coming out there, a new spat. And so uh, we're looking and following through and see how it grows. We got one, two, three, four, five uh, big leaves on it right now. Not big what they don't only have, but I haven't cleaned this area up and I'm going to put them nestle in the back there, put some more mulch, and then place this pot in a little fresh soil around it, a little fertilizer, and we'll see what we got coming out at the end of the year, but I want to clean it up so I can see if this year I get a chance to get some new babies. So thank you for stopping by, this is Marty with the Burgeness Anturium. Looks cool, doesn't it? Bye-bye.